Oh yeah Fun times as a Ravens fan Ain't it Team keep it clean What's going on I, I, I love y'all I appreciate y'all Make sure you subscribe to the channel Make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on because I don't want you to miss anything because it's obviously a lot of everything going on right now. Uh, yesterday, Lamar Jackson publicly let it be known that he is looking to leave Baltimore. He put out his public trade request that he had already told the Ravens in private uh, on March 2nd. Um, and obviously nothing has happened with it because he is still currently a Baltimore Raven. And I remember yesterday just thinking and feeling like, oh, man, when he put that that out publicly, I was thinking, oh, man, yeah, it's a wrap. It's done. It's finished. It's over. It's finito. That's it. But actually, a lot of us were thinking that it was done. It was a wrap. It was finished. It was finito. Shout out to Chief Keith, by the way. But that was, we thought it was a wrap even before he put out that public trade request. So that didn't really change much, but it did make things a bit worse in my opinion. But there was a report that came out yesterday from Ian Rappaport uh, that made a lot of people think and wonder if, if there is still a small chance that Lamar Jackson could actually stay a Baltimore Raven. And in that report, he said, uh, while the Lamar Jackson trade request has been in, sources say he was actively negotiating with the Ravens as recently as last week. So that turned a lot of heads like, hold up now, you were just talking to the Ravens last week, but now you're putting out this public trade request? Like, what's that all about? Well, it could mean a couple of different things. One, it could mean like, hey, he was still trying, the Ravens were still trying, they were trying to make it work, but them numbers still ain't looking right, and it's like, hey, all right, well, let me out of here. If you ain't gonna pay me, let me go to somebody else who will. Let me find somebody who's going to be willing to invest in me financially like I want to be invested in. Uh, so that could be one thing. Another thing, it could be just negotiations, part of negotiations. Like, hey, we talking. OK, y'all ain't budging off of that. OK, I'm not budging off of this. You know what? Let me put some more pressure on y'all. Let me let me put some more pressure on y'all. And let me let me let the world know now, because. I'm tired of being all nice and whatnot. I, nah, I'm, I'm done with that. So let, let, let me put it out there publicly. And that he did it. And again, the timing of him doing it, because he did it as soon as John Harbaugh went live, as soon as Harbaugh went live. And I was like, oh, OK, Lamar, I see you. Oh, but anyway, um, uh, Sashi Brown. Sashi Brown, Ravens current president, uh, he has spoke to the media yesterday and he said, we love Lamar. We, we committed to try to get something done. John Harbaugh, of course, in his presser, he said a lot of the same thing. Uh, and he spoke of Lamar like Lamar was going to be their quarterback. Now, of course, we know things could change and I wouldn't expect him to be like, oh, no, Lamar's not going to be our quarterback. We're going to trade him because. If the Ravens are going to trade him, they are going to want to get the highest possible value that they can. And if they speak down on Lamar Jackson, then that would lower his value. Now, Lamar coming out and saying that he wants to be traded, that makes that publicly, that makes stuff tricky. Because if he wants to get out of Baltimore, if he really does, then that would make it harder for Ravens to really get something like that. Because if he wants out, like if teams are not like really trying to, all right, give us Lamar. We want him. If he let it be known that he wants out, if people know that, then they might be like, oh, yeah, Ravens, they got to send him off. He ain't going to want to play there no more. So and, and with Lamar, when, when the, the thank you to the fans. Like, it's like he can say all the other stuff like, oh, yeah, the money and da, 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 da. When he said thank you to the fans, I said, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that's a wrap. He said, he said it's goodbye to Ravens flock. Oh, ooh, OK. Um. Now, I know a lot of fans are hoping and thinking uh, that this will be like Debo Samuel. I've seen a lot of fans doing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Hey, remember when Debo Samuel did this last year? He publicly he asked for a trade. All right. Look. And then, of course, the 49ers ended up paying Debo Samuel. Worked out great for them. All right. Awesome. The Ravens are not the 49ers. And what I mean when I say that is uh, think about what – don't even think about last year to what the 49ers did. Think about last year to the Ravens in the year before that. In the year before that, when somebody asked to be traded. Uh, last year, um, it was Chuck Clark. He asked to be traded. They tried to trade him, but no suitors. They couldn't trade him. So they kept him another year, traded him this year. Okay. But last year, Hollywood Brown. 
he had been asking to be traded. He'd be asking to be out. What happened? They traded him. Year before, Orlando Brown Jr., he asked to be traded. They traded him. Year before that, Hayden Hurst, he asked to be traded. They traded him. And I know every situation is different. All of those situations had their own things going on. Of course, with Hollywood, it was a scheme with Orlando Brown Jr. He said, I'm a left tackle. He wanted to get his bread as a left tackle. With Chuck Clark, it was Marcus Williams and Kyle Hamilton. Like, oh, okay, y'all looking to replace me, so let me go ahead and take care of it for you early. With Hayden Hurst, it was Mark Andrews because Hayden Hurst was the first-round pick, but he got hurt, and Mark Andrews ended up taking his spot. So all of the situations and scenarios were different, but the same all at the same time because they all ask to be traded. And what happens when somebody asks to be traded from the Baltimore Ravens? They usually get that request taken care of. Because Eric DaCosta has said before, I think Harbaugh said it too, hey, we want guys that want to be here. We want guys that want to play for us. If you don't want to play for us, okay, cool. And even if they didn't say that, those words exactly, I know Harbaugh did say it, uh, but even if they hadn't said those words exactly, Actions speak a lot louder than words do. And we've seen the actions of the Baltimore Ravens when somebody has requested a trade. Now, obviously, a quarterback is on a much different scale. So on, on a much larger scale when it comes to a trade request. Because this ain't like, and it ain't, obviously ain't no offense to those other guys. But this is the quarterback. This is the QB. This is somebody that actually helped all those other guys. And they helped him. So... With Lamar Jackson, I, I, I just still don't see this ending in a positive resolution between him and the Baltimore Ravens. It is still possible since, again, they, they've been talking, apparently. Well, they were talking. I don't know if they're talking now. Um, but and we know that uh, when th things like this, money can change a lot. M money can solve a lot of the issues. Money can uh, solve a lot of the uh, problems, so to speak. So are Ravens going to up their offer? Is Lamar going to come down on his, uh, his offer? I don't know. And again, like we keep saying with all this stuff, we won't know till we know. We really won't. So we'll continue to wait. Now, um, something else that's been interesting, especially with the timing of everything. Um, he said that he put in this request on March 2nd. March 2nd was before free agency started. But March 2nd, that was the Rashad Bateman Day. That's National Rashad Bateman Day. National Rashad Bateman calling out the Ravens Day. And he deleted the tweet, but, you know, again, once it goes online, once it goes on the Internet, that's it. That's it. We all see it. Everybody sees it. Um, and that same day, uh, just thinking about it, with, with it being before free agency, with it being before the franchise tag, because you hear so many Ravens fans say, Lamar Jackson is holding his team hostage. All because of Lamar Jackson. Ravens can't do anything. They can't make any moves. They can't do anything. It's because of him. Because it's franchise tech. Because he's not signing. Hold up now. Lamar asked to be out on March 2nd. So look at that. He, he, he gave the Ravens plenty of time before free agency even began. He said, hey, Ravens, look. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to be gone. Let, like, <laughs> all right, and, and I'm giving you, what, when, when the free agency start on, like, March 14th or March 15th? So he gave the, the Ravens a little over a week and a half. Almost two weeks, really. He getting about two weeks. Like, look, hey, there you go. I'm, I'm letting it be known. I, I want to go. I don't want to be here no more. You ain't gonna pay me. Let me let me go. And again, that could have been part of negotiations, but still. So when people say, "Oh, Lamar Jackson's holding up the Ravens. He's holding the Ravens hostage." No, he he, he gave them time to prepare. He let them know. Like, hey, he let them know what it is. And he I obviously hasn't been accommodated. And, and I'm I'm sure they do want to keep him. I'm sure that, I'm sure the Ravens would. Much rather keep a Lamar Jackson than not. But they're going to want to keep Lamar Jackson at their price. Not his, at least right now. So we'll see. We'll see how things go. We'll see how these negotiations turn out. And it'll be exactly what it's going to be. Whatever that ends up being. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And just like I still think Lamar Jackson is probably going to end up being nothing's official yet because, again, there is that small chance that he ends up staying. But like I think he's most likely going to probably be. We out.